Hey film fans, my name is David. This is Film Collector Archive and today we are talking the Barnes & Noble 50% off Criterion Sale. If you are new here, welcome. We like to talk all things uh, film on this channel. If that's something that you're into, I would invite you to subscribe. For those of you that are repeat visitors or subscribers to the channel, welcome back. Today we are going to be discussing the Barnes & Noble uh, Criterion 50% off sale. Now, I went really, really light on the sale this month. Um, I only picked up a couple titles in my first haul. And then this, which is my last haul for the sale, I have three titles to showcase here. So really light, especially if you've seen other uh, videos on the channel from past sales, uh, even the Criterion Flash sales, I've gone a lot heavier than um, five total titles. But I'm very happy with what I've selected this month. And uh, yeah, these three are uh, wonderful um, additions for the collection and ones that I would highly recommend. Um, so I'll jump right into this. Uh, first up, now this is a film that I just saw for the first time recently uh, via the Indicator release. Um, this is the Carl Franklin directed uh, Devil in a Blue Dress. Now this is the 4K edition. In fact, two of the three titles I'll be showing you today are the 4K editions. Um, but yes, this is the 4K edition and I've kind of made my own uh, super deluxe edition, if you will. Um, I actually pulled the um, the booklet from the indicator version and put it in here. Um, and then obviously the Criterion booklets in here as well, or leaflet. But as you can see here, this is a two disc affair. We have the dual format uh, 4K disc in red and then the Blu-ray disc in the darker, I think it's just black, yeah. Uh, so, those are your the two discs that are included. And then, like I said, the booklets here are from both the Indicator Edition, which is right here. You have Denzel on the cover and then Mr. Carl Franklin there on the back. The Indicator booklets are just too, they're, they're too good. <laughs> I, I had to keep a hold of that. Um, and then this is the leaflet from uh, criterion. I have to say I love the finish on this. It's, it's a matte finish and love the cover on that. And in fact, yeah, so just leaflet style, but I wanted to show this on the back here. This is a really, really beautiful uh, design here. I love how they did this one. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of the leaflet style in general, but um, Really, I mean, it's about the content. Criterion always features such great essays. And uh, so the essay here, Crossing the Line by Julian Kimball, is uh, what's included. So that, and then in the indicator version, um, these things are always really great. So we have Devil in a Blue Dress, Film Noir, and Black Film by Keith M. Harris. And then, I can't remember. Um, and then there's an interview with Carl Franklin from 96. And I think that, nope. And then, uh, and then there's a section called Introducing Easy Rollins. That's the character that Denzel Washington plays. And then, and then critical response and notes about the presentation. So um, that is the indicator booklet. And all together, it makes a um, kind of a nice super deluxe edition. Again, that's kind of what I'm thinking of this as. Because um, there are features, uh, special features here that pull over from the indicator version, um, such as uh, the great Eddie Muller, um, his uh, onstage conversation uh, with Carl Franklin and himself, and that was recorded at the 2018 Noir City uh, Film Festival in Chicago. I've seen that again via the Indicator edition, and that's a really great conversation. Um, also, the Don Cheadle um, screen test, there we go. Yeah, screen test for Don Cheadle, that's included here. 
Now one thing that is different on this disc compared to the indicator disc is that Carl Franklin uh, indicator recorded a very brief introduction with Carl Franklin on that Don Cheadle screen test. That's not included here. Um, that's just a little bit of a variation from the other presentation. And then uh, we do get a new uh, new conversation between Walter Mosley, author of the novel on which the film was based, and novelist and screenwriter Attica Locke. And then also a new, um, let's see, I know it's on here, where is it? Here we go. A new conversation between uh, Franklin and actor Don Cheadle. This was recorded and produced by Criterion, and I believe that comes in at just under 40 minutes. So I'm really excited to get into that. And then there's a, um, the new 4K digital restoration was approved by Carl Franklin. So really wonderful addition there. Um, next up, I can't say no to a Martin Scorsese film. And this is in uh, 4K. I hear the um, transfer on this looks absolutely astonishing. This is none other than Robert De Niro in Raging Bull. Really like the cover here. Sorry, I, I had this uh, other window over here closed, and so I'm hoping the uh, glare isn't quite as bad, but this office gets a lot of good <laughs> natural light. Anyways, I, yeah, I really love the cover on this edition from Criterion. Very striking in its simplicity. We have Robert De Niro, a Martin Scorsese picture, and then Raging Bullman, of course, the Criterion marker there. And then on the back. I like the kind of black on black uh, design here. Um, and this is an absolutely stacked edition. We have a new 4K digital master approved by Scorsese. Um, and then, yeah, this is, let's just show you the inside. Yeah, I, obviously I've, I opened these before. We're not, this is not an unboxing video per se, but just wanted to show you what's included here. Um, so again, we have a two disc affair here, the uh, dual format, again, the 4K disc here in red, and then the Blu-ray in black. And then this, uh, this is a really nice um, full stapled booklet. This more resembles like the indicator um, booklets. This is not a leaflet. It's a full stapled book, uh, just black on the back. And I love the image there on the cover. Um, so this has cast and credits, American uh, Minotaur by Robin Robertson, Never Got Me Down by Glenn Kinney, and then Notes About the Master. So this comes in at just under 50 pages, 45 pages, um, and you know, some great photography in here. And again, I just like the overall aesthetic of the book, the type font and kind of the all of it. It's really, really classy looking is, I think, a good way to put it. Um, and yeah, just a ton of, ton of extra features on this. So this is really an addition to not be missed. Again, I hear the, the uh, transfer on this is absolutely amazing. So I will be jumping into this very, very soon. And last but not least, oh, and before I do that, I always like to give the spine numbers, which I completely failed to do. And, oh, these are actually consecutive spine numbers. So Raging Bull is 1134, and uh, Devil in a Blue Dress is 1135. That's definitely not focused. But yeah, 1134 on Raging Bull, 1135 on Devil in a Blue Dress. And finally, this is a title, th this is one of those that I see at the sales every time I go, and I pass up on it. I I've mostly only passed on it because the copies that I've found in store are beat up pretty bad and so I was finally able to get one that's in perfect condition um, and this is uh, directed by Charles Vidor uh, this is spine number 795 uh, Rita Hayworth as Gilda and this has the great Glenn Ford um, Rita Hayworth and Glenn Ford I mean that's worth price of admission right there I love those two and um, I love film noir. This is one that I've been meaning to pick up for a number of years. Um, but it, it is a little bit newer of a spine number than I realized at 795. And I, I have to say, I love the spine on this. That hot pink is really striking on the shelf. It's very easy to spot. We'll definitely say that. 
Um, so this is a this features a new high definition digital restoration, audio commentary from 2010 by film critic Richard Schickel, new interview with film noir historian Eddie Muller. That's always awesome to see. Um, piece from 2010 featuring filmmakers Martin Scorsese and Baz Luhrmann discussing their appreciation for Gilda, The Odyssey of Rita Hayworth, a 1964 episode of the television show Hollywood and the Stars, a trailer, and then on the inside, so again, the hot pink carries over here to the disc, which is really cool. And then this is a leaflet style, and it's, uh, there you have Gilda, but this is actually a fold-out, um, make sure I have that pointed the right way there, a uh, fold-out poster featuring Rita Hayworth, um, and then the essay on the inside there. Um, so really great release here. I'm, I'm excited to watch this one as well. This will fill in a gap in my film noir watching. Um, I watch a ton of film noir titles, but this is one that has evaded me until now. So uh, Rita Hayworth in Gilda. So just to review what we got here, Gilda, Robert De Niro in Raging Bull. And last but not least here, Denzel Washington in Devil in a Blue Dress. Very happy with these selections. Um, there was some other titles that I would like to have picked up. I need to fill in some gaps in my classic Hollywood comedies. Um, so I'll plan on doing that uh, probably sooner rather than later, maybe even picking up one or two uh, on Amazon, you know, between now and the next sale. We'll see, but uh, yeah, that's definitely, um, there's definitely some gaps to fill there and then uh, some new releases. We'll kind of see how that looks for me next sale. But let me know down in the comments what you have picked up this month during the Barnes & Noble sale. This is always a really exciting time of year for us Criterion collectors. I'm always interested to know what you're picking up. We've had some great new releases. I mean, here we have two of the, you know, really premier uh, 4K releases from Criterion, uh, big sellers, obviously, during this uh, July sale, but um, definitely let me know what you picked up. And again, if you are new here, welcome. Love to have you subscribe to the channel. I love interacting with the community in the comments, so definitely leave a comment. And until next time, I hope you're able to watch a lot of great films.